I need to say thanks to Leonard. Um, you've been doing this for 30 years. And um, Leonard, what I love about you is your, your knowledge, your, you're a historian, you're a film lover, and you are a master about, about what you do. And thank you, thank you so much for tonight. Um, and Brad, thank you for being here. I've, I think this is gonna be by far one of the highlights in the 35 years of the film festival. And um, Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt. And speaking of highlights, I'm so honored to introduce the presenter of the Malton Mother Muster Award, um, David fucking Fincher. Um, David, David is by far, in my book, one of the greatest directors working in cinema today. Um, I, teach, I teach at the local school college, and I always just luxuriate in David's work. And, and one of the things that is also amazing about David and Brad is that in history, there have been incredible pairings of director and muse. And you have um, Fellini and Mastroianni, you have Robert De Niro and Leo DiCaprio and Scorsese, um, and, and so on and so on. And David Fincher and Brad Pitt have this incredible special relationship. Um, seven, Fight Club, Curious Case of Benjamin Button. The two of you, what you've done is incredible cinema. I hope you guys please work again together. Um, please welcome the magnificent David Fincher. I had to bring notes, I, I don't do this. So one of my favorite questions to answer, and I get this whenever I'm talking with film journalists or, or critics, is, wow, how good is that Brad Pitt? And I get to smile and say literally my favorite thing to esthetes, which is no shit. <laughs> I watch actors for a living. I watch auditions and screen tests and rehearsals and dailies and the occasional premiere. Um, the task of acting is multifaceted. There is the grand overriding two-hour arc that one might call the performance. There are the subtle behavioral hints at a lifetime of backstory, often referred to as the characterization. And then there is the moment, and that's the character at rest, a person idling. And for me, this is the test, the ultimate challenge. No intention, no witty banter, no dramatic change of trajectory. You just roll the camera and be. And this is the gift to your film that Brad Pitt brings. Like a supple suede jacket, he form fits his characters to the overall narrative and he shows up for more than the big beats. He idles smoothly at 3,000 RPMs in the most fractal of moments, between speeches, between stunts, between moments that most actors actually choose a role for. Showing you a stuntman's lifetime on set just by the way he reclines in a golf cart. Or illuminating years of an astronaut's space travel weary by way of an emotionally bottled pre-flight psych eval. So few people in the history of movies have been good at this that we annex them to a special tier. People like Bogart or Cary Grant or Jimmy Stewart or Paul Newman. They exist on celluloid in a way that mere mortals can't. They have a comfort and ease that cannot be faked or sadly duplicated. And they are as rare as albino pandas. <laughs> they are movie stars. And here's one of them. A multi-talented actor, producer, father, and friend, and now a Malton Modern Master recipient, Bradley.
Go. You okay. Say Go. I will. I will. That's so goddamn funny. If you, if you could hear the way we rip on each other weekly. That was so kind. That was so nice. He's never said that shit to me, ever. <laughs> ever. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna give my friend Fincher a, a, a pass as well and, and just say I, I, I love that man dearly. He's changed my life and He's the, he's the master. He's a master. And you know what? You're right. I just read that, that Scorsese and De Niro are on their 10th film. So if we are half as good as they are, we should at least do five. Thank you for this. Thank you, Santa Barbara. Um, The Malton Modern Master. This is, this is not going to help my hubris issues. Um, but you guys don't know this, but I hang out here a lot. I've been, I've been up in Goleta since 99. I, this is home. I'm homey. Um, Thank you, Leonard, for that. That was actually good fun. I thought it might be a little painful looking back. I really, I really enjoyed that. I thank you. Um, I've always appreciated your, 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 your words on film. I find you a bit judgy, a little judgy. <laughs> but I thought that was a pretty good presentation, though. I would say we had a really good start. Um, there were a couple of logic issues along the way. <laughs> Your protagonist, I don't know, a few lulls, but good finish, big finish. I'm gonna give you three stars. <laughs> um, wow, it's things like this that that nights like these that, that tell me I'm old. <laughs> um, been around a while, been doing this a bit. Um, yeah, I mean, I, like, I, like I can't stand night shoots anymore. Um, I'll gladly hand a stunt over to a stuntman. Um, I no longer remember the first rule of Fight Club. <laughs> but it's also nights like this where you know, I get to look back and, and feel really, really blessed. Um, I feel so fortunate to, to, to all the amazing people I've been able to work with um, that have really that have taught me so much, that have touched my lives. And this is, I mean, this is from editors and composers, but amazing directors like my friend here who have sent me on a trajectory that, that, that has meant so much to me. Um, really beautiful, amazing, um, uh, uh, amazing people. I just feel really blessed. I feel really blessed to be here. I feel grateful for this. Um, other friends, I have friends here in the audience that, that, that I've known, that have known me since I had a mullet. <laughs> when I first moved out, like in the late 80s. And if anyone was there, if you, like remember Bono and Andre Agassi at that time? They would have genuflected if they saw me. <laughs> Mine was... But I had some really lovely, lovely friends. Um, people I've worked with who, who kept me laughing, kept me humble. Um, Cynthia Pett, who's here in the audience somewhere here. Um, uh, 30 years? 31? Gene Black? 30 years? 31? I don't know, I love you, I love you all dearly and, and, and you make this so much fun. Um, thank you all for, thank you for this, thank you for, thank you for seeing the films, thank you for being film lovers, and uh, Santa Barbara rules. Thank you all, appreciate it. Thank you. Can we come out?